hope you're all well. It is currently Monday morning and I've literally just dropped Noah off at mum's today. Um, it's a Noe and Nana day today. My mum has been hinting to look after Noah for so long now and we made a little plan that every Monday her and Noah are going to have a day together and then that kind of gives me the chance to um, just have like a really productive day and get work done um, and stuff like that. It's very bittersweet because it's like I know that he will have such a fun time at my mum's especially when he's a little bit older and he kind of knows a little bit more what's going on it'll be so special for him to be able to spend like a full day with my mum um because she's just so cute as well and I know he'll just have such a fun time and she will love it equally as much and also as well like I said it gives me the chance to just have a full day every week to just get things done but obviously with having a newborn baby that has been something that's I have been struggling with like I've been struggling to get things done and be productive but then I miss him it's been half an hour and I miss him I keep like looking in my rear view mirror when I'm driving and he's not there and I'm like I miss you so I just popped to Starbucks got myself a coffee I got a iced latte with oat milk and sugar-free caramel syrup mm. so guys today the world is my oyster I'm baby free. Here I am, sitting in Starbucks car park with an iced latte. Who do I think I am? So, first things first, I am going to pop into a shop. I can't remember the last time I popped anywhere. Um, I feel like when you have a baby, all of your outings kind of need to be planned because you need to take so much stuff. So, I'm going to pop into a supermarket and that supermarket is going to be M&S purely because M&S is just this sounds very sad but it's one of my favorite places <laughs> you guys know how much i appreciate a supermarket i really do a little trip to mns just it just it makes me feel in a really like cozy mood i think because i associate and i always have associated like mns with christmas because as you guys know me and mum always do um the big m and food shop just before Christmas. So whenever I go in there, I'm like, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. It's Christmas. Anyway, my loves, I am going to pop over to m and Yeah, I'm really looking forward to spending the day with you guys, as always. Just a little haul from M&S today because we have HelloFresh for dinners, as you can see over there, which has just been delivered this morning. So I just got a few bits to like keep in the fridge for some snacks um, and just some like little yummy treats. So I got some strawberries, some king cherries. Oh my goodness, me and mum had some of these the other day and they were literally the nicest cherries I have ever eaten. They were so sweet. So I got some more of those. Then I got some yellow flesh peaches. I'm planning on making a grilled peach and burrata salad. Got some bananas. I got these corns because we're obsessed with cooking everything and anything on the pizza oven at the moment. And I found this really nice recipe for corn. Then I got some of my favorite yogurts ever, which are really hard to find at the moment. I find only M&S and Sainsbury's actually do them. So I picked up just a few of those. I got this juice and I thought this looked really yummy. So excited to try that. Strawberry and almond crunch cereal is one of my favorite things ever. I have a crumpet obsession. This started when I was towards the end of my pregnancy when I had my chewing sponge obsession. And I think it was the texture. It's the texture that reminds me of chewing on a sponge, but an edible sponge that tastes good. So ever since then, I've had a bit of a thing for crumpets and I got some strawberry jam to go with my crumpets because strawberry jam on crumpets, how many more times do I say crumpets? It's such a good combo. Then I picked up these yum nuggets. I love the M&S yum nuts. So delicious. It's like a donut and a yum nut together. Oh my God, it's so good. And these are little mini ones come with a little mini chocolate dipping sauce. Then I picked up this little M&S meal do. I always find M&S do like great 
little meal deals. They, they also as well have been having like lots of different themes recently. So I think this one was called the Chicken Feast. But I thought these different types of chicken would be so nice on the pizza oven. So I've got this peri peri one and this lemon and herb chicken for my mains. So you get to pick two mains and then four sides for £15, which I thought was really good. So then I've got some peas, some spicy rice, some deli coleslaw and then a little dessert and we went for churros. So I'm just about to take my daily vitamins from my vitamins who are very kindly sponsoring this part of today's video. So as always, I'm taking two of the hair, skin and nail gummies. These are the limited edition peach flavor. You guys must try these. They are my favorite flavor yet. They're so yummy. And these are great for maintaining your hair, skin and nails, but I thought they'd be perfect to start taking now to hopefully like prevent any postpartum hair loss, which I haven't actually had yet. Um, so I've taken two of these every day. And then I've also taken as well two of the coconut and collagen tablets, which look like this. Um, and I've been taking these for about three weeks now. Obviously had a bit of a break from these throughout my pregnancy. And I can notice such a difference to my skin in like three weeks. It just looks so much better. I feel like it's firmer and just looks so much healthier and glowier. These two I'm currently taking at the moment, they go great hand in hand together. I keep pausing every two seconds because I keep thinking I can hear Noah crying, but Noah's not even here. So I'm literally imagining it. I feel like I'm always on alert now these days. I'm just always like, is Noah stir? I'm gonna browse on my vitamins over the weekend and I spotted, they do collagen gummies. I'm all, I'm all about the collagen at the moment, guys. Like, I'm all about the looking youthful. <laughs> so I picked up some collagen gummies in the pomegranate flavor, which I thought looked really nice. And then I thought I'd give the collagen pancakes a go. Tilly's just walking by the camera, if you can just see gray, there's a tail, gray fur. Every time I have my camera on the windowsill, she just kind of like walks back and forth. She's now staring at the tap. Um, I'll put that on for you in a moment, my darling. Yeah, I thought I could give these a go. They are chocolate flavored. I thought they'd also make a really nice dessert if we fancied that one night as well. So picked up some of these. And I also as well have just restocked our fridge with the My Vitamins Sparkling Vitamin Water. These are great, especially if you're a lover of fizzy drinks. If you kind of like swap your fizzy drinks for one of these, these have so much more added benefits, like they're full of vitamins, they're zero calorie, zero sugar, and just like a really lovely, refreshing drink to have in the afternoon. Always, I have a discount code for my vitamins, which I'll pop on screen, and I'll pop a direct link to my vitamins down below. Um, but they have so much. They literally have so much to browse through. So yeah, I'll give these a go and let you know how I get on with them. But they literally have something for everyone. Any health goals you have, um, my vitamins have got something for you, so definitely have a browse. This is my new favorite breakfast, which I have been absolutely obsessed with recently. I used this instant porridge, which I actually got from the farm shop a few weeks ago, which is pretty much empty now. There's the tiniest little bit in. I need to go back and get some more because it's the nicest porridge I've ever had. It has dates, dark chocolate pieces, cacao butter, coconut cream, chia seeds, flax seeds, and pink Himalayan salt. And then I mix it with a little bit of this chocolate oat milk, and it makes it so so creamy and chocolatey and then I just pop some coconut and some pecans on top but if you guys ever see this in supermarkets or like in a farm shop or wherever definitely try it it's so yummy look how big Teddy is guys <laughs> he's like the giant cat god his claws are in my arm ow oh my god ah Teddy my my t-shirt is stuck on your claw ow he's skulking around a little bit because the window cleaner has just been and the window cleaner is teddy's least favorite person look how sheepish he looks are you scared you don't need to be scared of the window cleaner ted if any of you are wondering what this big ball of fluff is on the landing it's tilly <laughs> basically tilly won't let me brush her at the moment will you no nope. 
try and distract me by rolling on your back. <laughs> this is a, um, she does this to trick you, but like, go on, touch my belly. Touch my belly and see what happens. Oh, would you like a belly rub? Ooh, she's actually let me, Oh God. <laughs> no, she's not. Belly is just far too tempting. I just want to like put my head in her belly. She's so fluffy, I'm gonna die. I can't. <laughs> it's just the way she's looking at me. <laughs> Tilly, why do you look like a loaf of bread? See guys, I have bought about four different cat brushes now and she's just not having any of them. Last time I tried to brush her, she was having it for about two minutes and then really, really went for me and she's never, like she'll she'll play fight, like, like I just said, like when I touch her belly, she'll like tap my hands, but she really went for me, like she was not happy and she would not come near me for days after. Um, I was only trying to brush her Tilly, but I was brushing her and she like swung round and was like, and then like stormed at my feet and it was actually quite terrifying having Tilly like come storming at you. I was just walking down the stairs and she tried to get me through the stairs. Like if you come near me with that brush again, you're gonna absolutely get it. Look at my claws. Look how long and intimidating they are. sorting out Noah's wardrobe and popping some of his clean washing away. Look at this little shacket that I bought. I got this from H&M last week. I thought this would be so cute for autumn. It's like this really soft, almost like fleecy material. But I thought, is this not the perfect little pumpkin picking outfit for Noah? So I've just had a really productive few hours, which I feel like my soul needed i've got so much ticked off my to-do list and i feel really good um i've given the house a little spruce i have put loads of washing on i've washed our bedding sorted a few bits out in the nursery which have just been kind of like piling up in the corner of the nursery and i've also organized a few things in the dressing room which have needed to be done since i gave birth so i feel good for getting those done i am now going to bake some cookies that I baked the other week. If you guys saw my vlog two Sundays ago, um, you would have seen that I made these really chunky New York style chocolate chunk cookies and I am craving them so much. To be honest, I've craved them since we ate them, literally for the past few weeks. Okay, this is the ultimate chocolate chip cookie recipe this is a jane's patisserie recipe but i have changed a few little bits so you will need 75 grams of granulated sugar 100 grams of light brown sugar 125 grams of unsalted butter i like to use stalk so i'm just going to cream together the butter and two sugars and once that's all creamed together i'm going to add one large egg and some vanilla extract i kind of just eyeball the vanilla extract because i like quite a lot so it's probably about i probably use just over a teaspoon now it's time to add all of the dry ingredients so you want half a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda this is what makes the outside of the cookies crunchy you also need one and a half teaspoons of baking powder and then a little bit of sea salt it's time to add 300 grams of plain flour my cookie dough already I am gonna add a big bar this is a 200 gram bar of galaxy galaxy is my favorite chocolate so literally just add your favorite chocolate to this and also as well don't use chocolate chips. I made these a few weeks ago with chocolate chips and I 
just don't think they're that nice. I don't think they like taste like proper chocolate and they don't melt. They do melt, but they kind of like all stay together. I mean, by all means, if you like that, use chocolate chips, but I kind of like it when they, you get like a real big chunk of melted chocolate. Like I just love that. Um, I'm also going to make some like nutty versions as well. I think nuts would be really, really nice in these. So I might make like a white chocolate and macadamia nut. Um, or we can also as well, when autumn is here, which is just around the corner, we can make some like pumpkin spice cookies. And I'm going to add all of the chocolate. I'm going to take my ring off because I don't want cookie dough stuck on that. And there we have a giant ball of cookie dough. Then I'm gonna get some baking paper. This actually does make quite a lot of cookie dough. Um, this makes eight normal size cookies, or you can make really big ones. I kind of like to make giant cookies, so I will make six big cookies from this mixture, but I don't cook them all at the same time. After like, attempting to make cookies for a really long time and failing i have learned the fewer you have on your baking tray the better because it really annoys me when they go into each other i like it to be like the perfect round cookie so i make balls about about this big so quite big and i just space them out as much as i possibly can on the tray so i'm going to cook four and then i'm going to keep the cookie dough in the fridge so then, if we fancy freshly baked cookies one night, I'm not really in the mood to prepare them because I do feel like I need to be in the mood to properly bake. We can just pop them in the oven. You can also freeze this mixture as well, which I think is really good. Step I used to just completely miss is cooling the cookie dough in the fridge before baking. I used to be like, oh, ain't nobody got time for that and put them straight in the oven. Cooling them, I feel like sets them, stops them spreading across the whole baking tray. So I actually leave mine in the fridge for as long as I can, usually for about an hour and a half. Um, I'll make them, pop them in the fridge, go and get on with something for a little while and then pop them in the oven for literally like 12 minutes. So it's been a very cosy afternoon in my office. Also as well, started listening to a new podcast. I have been wanting to start Fern Cotton's Happy Place for so long. I've heard so many good things about it and I finally got round to listening today um, and I'm really enjoying it. I feel like Fern Cotton's voice just brings back ultimate nostalgia. It reminds me of Top of the Pops days. I remember Every single Friday, I used to come home from school, mum would take me to the shop to pick up a magazine, and then we would go home and watch Top of the Pops, and it just kind of reminds me of that. It's just a really... Her voice is just very nostalgic, but I've been listening to the episode with Emma Gannon, and it's really, really good. It's all about the internet and social media, and how social media can sometimes make you feel like disconnected from yourself. Um, it's really good. I would highly recommend and I'm really looking forward to listening to more of it because 
I tend to dip in and out of podcasts quite a lot where I go through a patch of like listening to it religiously every day like when I'm just kind of like going about everyday life and like now I feel like I can add it into my life when I'm feeding Noah or I'm kind of just sat um but I think now I've got a bit of routine on a Monday where um it's a Noah and Nana day I can listen to a podcast on the way to my mum's because it's like a 45 minute drive and then obviously when I'm like doing computer work I just feel really like inspired and happy after listening to a podcast I feel like it's such a mood booster that's something I have really been enjoying today but now it's time to bake the cookies they've been in the fridge for about two hours now so they should be perfect to bake to show you guys a little house update i have given the bathroom a little refresh and added a few new bits so i picked up this ladder from zara home which i absolutely love i've been looking for something to go in this corner for a really long time because it did feel quite bare but then i also didn't want the bathroom to feel cluttered in any way um, but i found this and it's absolutely perfect then I popped, I think this is called like a Turkish towel. It almost looks like a throw, but it is towel material um, with the little tassels. And I popped this little body brush and loofah on here as well. And it's perfect. Like it's exactly what I was looking for for this corner. Then I also as well just popped a few little faux olive branches in this vase, which I think looks really nice. And then also another little addition is I added fresh eucalyptus to the shower to give it kind of like spa vibe. When the bathroom gets all steamy from the shower, you can really smell the eucalyptus and I think it looks really pretty as well. Um, I got mine from Etsy, you literally type in shower eucalyptus and it comes with like this little string hook type thing that you can just pop on your shower but it smells so lovely and fresh and it just, it just gives me spa vibe. Look who just got home. My little bear. I missed you so much today. Yes, I did. The house has felt very quiet and empty without you, my little pea. Hey, you have a nice day at Nanny's. Did you have a fun day? My mum said that he's literally been so good all day, which I was worried about before he went to mum's because obviously he's never been out of the house all day he's never been away from me and jamie for the full day but she said that he was literally so settled and you had a lovely day together didn't you and mum just texts me saying i miss him already he's got a bit of a habit at the moment whenever you hold him he like flings himself back so you have to make sure that you're like alert at all times because he might just like start doing acrobats but sometimes you'll be picking him up and he'll like throw himself back um, he's also discovered his hands in the past few days and I don't know if he is teething a little bit I know it's very early for him to be teething, but um, I did google it He's staring at everyone <laughs> I did google it and it did say um, Babies can start teething at nine weeks. So maybe it's that because he basically Will not stop like sucking on his fist and he's not hungry. He seems fine, but he just he just loves sucking on his fist. He smiles at everyone. Oh, hello. He's also really started like cooing and like communicating back. Um, when you're like, hi, yeah, he'll be like, oh, oh, won't you? I feel like he's, his development in the past two weeks, he's just changing every day at the moment. Like every day I notice something different. Um, you're a clever boy, aren't you? You're a growing boy, hey? You're learning lots of new skills the past few weeks. Who's that? that? That's Mama and Louie. That's you. Hiya. Hi. Hi. Did you have a <gasps> nice day? Yeah? Did you? <gasps> Did you have lots of milk? 
know, Mama. Did you have lots of sleep? Yeah, you did. Have you been a good boy? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. This is my life now, guys. Communicating in a whole new language. Hey, communicating in baby language. Oh. Why am I singing the Jaws theme tune? What am I doing at this point? <laughs> what am I doing? Mummy will do anything to make you laugh. I will. I will. Anything. Anything in the whole world. Say hi everyone. Are you camera shy? Are you? Are you camera shy? Look at all your bubbles in your mouth. So on the menu for dinner tonight is a new favourite of mine. Um, funny story behind this recipe actually. A really lovely girl that I follow here on YouTube and also over on Instagram. Her name is Michelle Reed, and she posted this gorgeous reel and it was like of her evening and it was just so oh, it's one of those reels you watch and you're just like you know instantly just makes you feel like really cozy so she made this delicious looking meal in it and I watched it over and over and over again and I literally <laughs> screen printed like her getting the groceries out the bag her chopping them up like close-ups of them in her tin and I was like what is that recipe I should have just asked her but I kind of I kind of like finding out things for myself um so I must have watched this reel about 20 times with about 20 different screen prints and I finally worked out what it was and when I'd made it I sent her a picture of it and then I realized she had a um recipe highlights on her Instagram with the recipe for the meal in so do you know what I feel like it tasted better because I actually had to like work for my food I had to work for that recipe it was not just given to me so this recipe is so nice I'll leave it down below um I do something slightly different with it because I don't put pesto on it because Jamie doesn't like pesto so I do it without the pesto basically so we are making salmon with feta and walnuts with like a tomato kind of like a roasted tomato salsa don't know if it's actually called that but that's what i'm calling it with olive oil and basil and lots of salt and pepper and then i'm going to serve it with rice it is such a delicious meal so easy like it's pretty much all done in the oven as well so there's like not much tidying up and it tastes like a restaurant meal like it's so good and all of the flavors together just oh my god they're so nice so first things first um, I use quite a lot of tomatoes because once they roast they go quite small so I get these tomatoes um, from Sainsbury's the red and yellow ones because I like the different colors and they taste slightly different as well so I'm just going to chop these up and pop them in a roasting dish So to the tomatoes I have added olive oil, fresh basil, salt and pepper and then I'm going to roast these in the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes and then I'll add the salmon. So at this point if you like pesto you'd pop pesto on your salmon fillets. But I've just popped some pepper on mine and then once the salmon is cooked I'm going to add crumbled feta and walnuts.
just added the feta, the walnuts and also some extra basil. I'm going to pop this back in the oven for about 15 minutes and then it is ready to serve. just finished doing our little night routine and this little one is all ready for bed it's about i think it's about half nine um we usually kind of end our little night routine at half nine when noah has his last bottle of the day and it's time to pop him down for bed um last night he broke the record of his length of sleep and he slept 11 hours last night um I really, really, really think our little wind down routine is just really helping. Another thing else we started adding actually over the past week to our little evening routines is time outdoors. Uh. <laughs> what are you looking at, darling? Before we do bath, bottle, bed, we actually sit outside for about half an hour. Um, he absolutely loves being outside. Like he is just so happy out there just looking around laying on our little sofa set that we've got outside so we add that to our little evening routines at the moment and i feel like that again just helps them kind of wind down a little bit but yeah thank you guys so much for spending the day with me you've had a lovely day at nana's haven't you i am gonna get little man settled and in his cot and get him off to sleep and then jamie and i you guys are gonna laugh we have started watching breaking bad again this is literally our third time watching breaking bad in just over a year and there's like six seasons but i think because there's so many seasons we by the time we finished the last episode of the sixth season we've forgotten what the first episode of the first season was it's, it's just our happy series and when we've watched everything else on Netflix and Amazon Prime, we rewatch things. I'm still trying to convince Jamie to rewatch Stranger Things because I am missing it so much. But yeah, that's what we're currently watching. You guys have had a lovely weekend. Sending all the positive vibes for the brand new week ahead as always. Next video, you guys will be very happy to know, is the start of autumn. I will see you guys next Sunday. I hope you all have a lovely week and I will catch up with you next weekend. I love you all so much. I can't do my usual sign off today because my hands are full with baby. <laughs> love you guys so much. Bye. -bye.